Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a new project inside of Field Genius Android. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I've opened up Field Genius, and I'm going to head to the New Project button there in the top right corner. Inside my New Project menu here, I can give my project a name. So in this case, I'm just going to call it New Project here, so let me type that in. And then right below my project name here is my distance unit. So I'm going to select meters. I'm up here in Canada. And my angle unit, I'm just going to leave as degrees. And that is my only option for the moment. So I'm just going to leave it as degrees. My coordinate system, um, by default, Field Genius Android is going to pull my location. Right now I'm in UTM zone 11 up here in Canada. So I can select that. But if I want to change that, what I can do is I can hit that little list button to the right. And it's going to load all my coordinate systems and I can choose either my own custom coordinate system or one from a series of pre-entered ones in Field Genius. And they have everything from stuff in Africa to stuff in Canada to stuff in the States, anything you'd, you'd expect. So if you need to find your state plane, you can simply search it in the search bar by hitting the magnifying glass here um, and then finding it that way. So in this case, let me scroll all the way down to my Canada UTM 80 three here. So if it's not auto populating my zone already, this is how you can find your coordinate system. So I'm just going to back out of this menu and leave it on UTM zone 11. I can also download or select a geoid um, for my vertical system. In this case, I don't have any geoids inside of field genius. So I'm just going to leave my vertical system as uh, the ellipsoidal uh, system. I'll have a video up shortly on how to put in a geoid inside of Field Genius Android, but for the moment, I'm going to leave it on my ellipsoidal height. And from my code list, what I'm going to choose is the default survey.ctf file um, that has all of the default um, codes that are inside of Field Genius, and you'll be familiar with those if you've ever used Field Genius Windows as well. And in my feature list, I don't have any GIS features um, in my feature manager, so there's no GIS features as my only option. And once I have all those settings to my liking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Create, and you now have a project inside of which you can work. And that is everything for today's Field Genius Android video. And I would please ask you if you have a moment to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and it helps me keep making these videos for you guys. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen on today's video or anything on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.